Core Pew Mathematics Paper 1, Advanced Subsidiary, Further Mathematics, Monday, 11 May 2020. Answer all questions and ensure that your answers to parts of questions are clearly labeled. You should show sufficient working to make your methods clear. Answers without working may not gain full credit. Question number nine. The cubic equation 3x cubed plus x squared minus 4x plus 1 equals to 0 has roots alpha, beta, and gamma. Without solving the cubic equation, determine the value of 1 over alpha plus 1 over beta plus 1 over gamma. So what we're going to do, we're going to use this formula or ideas below. If alpha, beta, and gamma are roots of the equation ax cubed plus bx squared plus cx plus d, because that is similar to that cubic equation there. Then alpha plus beta plus gamma, which is the sum of the roots, is minus b over a. Alpha, beta, beta, gamma, gamma, alpha, sum of alpha, beta is c over a, c divided by a. And alpha, beta, gamma is minus d divided by a. So we're going to be using those formulae. From this, A is 3, B is 1, C is minus 4, and D is 1. So alpha, beta, gamma is minus D over A. So that will be minus 1 divided by 3. And alpha, beta plus alpha, gamma plus beta, gamma which is C divided by A, and C is minus four, A is three. So it's minus four divided by three. So what we have is one over alpha plus one over beta plus one over gamma. When you use the common, the, the, the denominator is alpha, beta, gamma, and when you add the three, the three fractions together, this will be beta, gamma, because alpha will cross out, alpha, gamma, because beta will cross out, and alpha, beta, because gamma will cross out. Now, from before, alpha, beta, plus gamma, alpha, plus beta, gamma is minus four over three. So the, top, the numerator is minus four over three. And alpha, beta, gamma is minus 1 over 3. So it's minus 4 over 3 divided by minus 1 over 3. And that will give you 4. The minus and the minus become positive. Question 9b. Find a cubic equation that has roots 1 over alpha, 1 over beta, and 1 over gamma. Giving your answer in the form x cubed plus ax squared plus bx plus c equal to 0 where a, b, and c are integers to be determined. So we're going to, we know alpha plus beta plus gamma is minus b over a, and alpha, beta, gamma is minus d over a. And we got a, b, c, and d over there. We're going to need them. So we want to find the new product. So we multiply all three of them. One times one times one will give you one. Alpha times beta times gamma gives you alpha, beta, gamma. So that gives you one divided by minus one over three. Because alpha, beta, gamma is minus one over three, which will give you minus three. Now, new pair sum. So we one over alpha, beta plus one over beta, gamma plus one over alpha, gamma. That will give you alpha, plus beta plus gamma at the numerator divided by alpha times beta times gamma. And the numerator is minus one over three and the denominator is minus one over three, which you divide that, that will cancel. All of them will cancel to give you one. Now to get the new equation is x cubed minus part a squared plus new pair new pair sum minus the new product. So it's x cubed minus, we got four for part A. 
and plus the new pair sum, which is one. The new pair sum is one. So that goes there. The new pair sum is one that goes there. Minus the new product, which goes there. Minus three. So it will be x cubed minus four x squared plus one x minus three is equal to zero. So that's the first part of question nine A. The second part of question nine A and question nine B.